Supply and Demand The most profitable trading and powerful arsenal to profit from the market. Today, I will be showing you a very profitable scalping strategy that makes use of incredible indicators to really profit from the market. This strategy works well on the 5 minutes time frame, as this strategy is unique as no one has ever told you about it before. And to prove my point, I will also be back testing this strategy 200 times, with an account size of $1,000. This strategy can be used in MT4 and TradingView. It can be used for the crypto, forex, or stock market. Don't forget to smash the like button and subscribe, as it motivates us on the hunt for the holy grail. Okay guys, we're looking at the Euro-Japanese Yen chart. And we are on the 5 minutes time frame. For this strategy, we would be using two amazing indicators to scalp the market. For the first indicator, let's search for the Stochastic RSI indicator. This one made by TradingView. And for the second indicator, let's search for the Heiken Ashi RSI. This one right here by J. Rogers. Now let's quickly adjust the settings for these indicators. For the first indicator, double click on the Stochastic RSI to bring up the indicator panel. On the input option, I want you to change K to 6 and the D to 2. Also change the RSI length to 50, as well as changing the stochastic length to 21. When you are done, move over to the style. Change the upper band to line, and also do the same for the middle and lower band line. When you are done, click on the OK button to fully apply the settings. Now for the Harsi, double click on it to bring up the indicator panel. For the input, we won't be changing any of its settings, but on the style, let's first change the colors of this Harsi to better green and red for color 0 and color 1. Also do the same for the border. Now, we would only be using the Harsi option, so go ahead and untick all this other options. When you are done, click on the OK button. We are fully equipped with our strategy, let's now quickly go over the rules of a valid buy and sell signal, and also make sure to watch closely till the end, so you wouldn't make any mistakes. Please if you are enjoying our content, why not smash the like button and subscribe, as it motivates us on making more videos like this. Moving on. For a buy signal to be valid, the rules are simple. We need to have the stochastic close above the upper band line. And when we have this, we would want to wait till we see the Harsi change its color to red. Then we would wait till we get another green candle on the Harsi before we go ahead to place a buy stop order. Note that while the Harsi is confirming our signal, we need to have the stochastic remain on the overbought zone before we place our order. Also, whenever the stochastic closes below the upper band line and moves above it, if our conditions are met, we would also be opening another trade. And it is important to note that if when we have a valid signal and we have our stop order placed, if our trade was not triggered and we notice the stochastic closed below the middle band line, then we would be closing the trade. And lastly, when we open a buy stop order after we have a confirmation from the Harsi, we won't be opening any other trade till we have the stochastic close below the overbought zone. So here, we see we met all our conditions, as we have the stochastic on overbought, and also we waited for our confirmation indicator to give us the signal for a long trade. And we can see we got it here, after some couple of red Harsi. Looking at the stochastic, we can see we still have it on the overbought zone. Before we check the trade, notice we had our stochastic close below the upper band line as it went on to close above the upper band line again. We would also have to wait for our conditions to be met. And we can see we got the confirmation from our Harsi. We would therefore place our buy stop order at the peak of this trigger candlestick. Our stop loss at the recent swing low, while our take profit is at two times the risk. And we can see both trades were successful. 
Notice how we escaped a lot of loosing trades here, as when the stochastic kept giving overbought and oversold trades, our confirmation indicator kept keeping us safe from taking loosing trades. Many who just used this stochastic as a reversal indicator, without the proper technique in combination with other indicators, would experience some flooding on their trading account during this type of market condition. Now, for a sell signal to be valid, it is exactly the opposite of our buy option. The rules are simple. We need to have the stochastic close below the lower band line. And when we have this, we would want to wait till we see the Harsi change its color to green, as we would keep waiting till we get another red candle on the Harsi before we go ahead to place a sell stop order. Note that while the Harsi is confirming our signal, we need to have the stochastic remain on the oversold zone before we place our order. Also, whenever the stochastic closes above the lower band line and moves back down below it, if our conditions are met, we would also be opening another trade. And it is important to note that if when we have a valid signal, and we have our stop order placed, if our trade was not triggered, and we noticed the stochastic closed above the middle band line, then we would be avoiding the trade. And lastly, when we open a sell stop order after we have a confirmation from the Harsi, we won't be opening any of the trade till we have the stochastic close above the oversold level. So here, we see we met all our conditions as we have the stochastic on oversold. We waited for our confirmation indicator to give us the signal for a short trade. And we can see we got it here after some couple of green Harsi. Looking at the stochastic, we can see we still have it on the oversold zone. Notice we did not have our trade triggered, and not until we got it at this candlestick, as our stochastic did not move above the middle band line. Our stop loss at recent swing high, while take profit levels are at two times the risk. And we see the trade was a successful one. Let's now go over some few trades to make you better understand this strategy, as any mistake could cost you your trading account. Here is a buy trade we would have taken. We see we got our stochastic on the overbought zone at this point. And looking at our Harsi, we see we also have it on green, so we had to wait till we had the red bars before we finally got our green entry bars. We would therefore be opening a buy order at the peak of the trigger candlestick. Stop loss and take profit remain the same. And we see it was successful. Here is another trade we would have taken. So we see we met our conditions here for a short position as we have the stochastic on oversold while our Harsi confirmed our trade at this point. So we would go ahead and also place a sell stop order at the bottom of this trigger candlestick. Stop loss and take profit remains the same. and we see it was successful. Please do not forget to always make sure that the stochastic remains on the overbought or oversold level while you open a buy or sell trade. Okay guys, let's now quickly go over the back testing as we would be ranking our strategy at the end of this video to compare it with other strategies tested on this channel. Let's dive into it. Okay guys, so we just finished the back testing for this strategy. And we can see that we have a really amazing win rate for a 1 is to 2 risk to reward ratio. We had a win rate of 56% in 200 back tested trades. Having won 112 and lost just 88, which made us 136% return on investment. And I found those trade setups within 2 months. Any newbie can start applying this strategy immediately to have the shortcut to a better scalping experience. So overall, I'm definitely happy with the result. And the profit factor is looking amazing. For a 1 is to 2 RR ratio, we had a break even number on its wins and losses in a row. Okay traders, let's now compare the strategy to some other strategy back tested on this channel.
In terms of return on investment, this strategy is really good, although not the most profitable on the channel, as it made incredible return no one ever imagined. Newbies should definitely try this out. 136% return on investment is really amazing for a short-term trade on a 5-minute time frame. You should probably test this strategy out if you want monthly profits from the market. If we take a look at the win rate, which is probably one of the most important metrics, we can see that the strategy is good as well, as it made 56% win rate within a short period of time. So make sure to add this to your trading arsenal. So yeah, traders, definitely give this strategy a try, and make sure you do the proper back testing and forward testing before trading live. By the way, if you have any strategy you would like to try out, please let us know on the comment section. Also, feel free to check out my other videos on our channel. I have playlists with different strategies and indicators that will definitely make you a profitable trader. All I ask for in return is to give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe to the channel as it is absolutely free. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.